Well, this is not a video that I wanted to do, but our coming five-year-old refrigerator, this is a Kenmore, and we bought this on May of 25 mm -hmm. of 2019, and it, the freezer's working fine, but the refrigerator part isn't, and we've ruined everything that we had in here, so I've got to take everything out, toss it give all like this was leftover meat from yesterday chicken breasts they're all got to be given to the animals so we don't go to waste a brand new thing of cottage cheese wasted so i'm gonna give what i can of everything that i can to the chickens um they'll most likely eat everything that i give to them I'm not saving anything that's in here pretty disappointed about what's all gone on about this and I don't even know if this needs to be refrigerated I'm gonna see though but um, it's, it's not a not a very good thing oh this is heavy I'm just not had like two gallons of milk that went bad or a gallon and a quarter I should say there's blood all over in this refrigerator from meats leaking so I've got to really clean this out it says it's like 80 degrees in here seriously just gonna give everything that I can to the um, chickens that I possibly can do it is a shame that we have had all this not do very well um, I'm quite disappointed. Deviled eggs, or not deviled eggs, but pickled eggs that are now probably bad and I'm not going to try to make it sauerkraut bad. I'm not going to try to eat it. The chickens are going to have a nice full plump I don't even know if this cheese is any good. I really don't know. Got a whole black cheese underneath here. I called and had a service. I talked to a well. They could have a service tech out on Monday, February 5th, between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. I mean, I'm home all the time, so it's not like it's a big deal, but we've already took our manual and tried to, my husband tried to diagnose it last night, and it, it didn't work, so... Um, I'm just going to get this cleaned back up. Get it to the point where it smells a little better in this. It stinks in here right now. The refrigerator does because it had all this stuff sitting in there of not being cooled. And it won't, it won't cool at all. The refrigerator part will not. Now, my husband was reading, stating that your refrigerator is not supposed to be next to your stove. And this is right next to it. So what we're going to have to do is move this. 
over away from the stove. And I think we're going to have to put um, that shelving that I have that's over here underneath this to try to make it look a little, I don't know, a little better possibly. I don't know, to be honest with you. I need a scrubber because that one stuff's not coming out like it should. scrubbing on it to be done. I'm going to take this out. I don't have any room anywhere to set anything. The counters are all full of stuff that I pulled out on it and I just uh, it's nothing like to have appliances go out. But anyways, Sears, Sears is the only company that will work on these Kenmores because they still sell them, supposedly. And I called and they're like, if you have somebody else do the work on it, we're not going to honor it, blah, 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 which I kind of figured that. Really do some elbow grease in here. It's like watching somebody clean out their broken refrigerator, right? Let that sit on there a little more. here to clean all this out. Nothing like using Lysol, right? Clean it, clean it, clean it. Because it asked me if there was any flashing lights on the control panel. We didn't have any flashing lights. diagnosis then we owe them $109 for them just to come out and diagnose this. Now they don't charge you for coming out if you have them fix it. So I don't know. I asked my husband because I don't know if that Monday's appointment will still be available by the time I call because we're at like 3.30 right now in the afternoon. I don't know when exactly, you know, like, when exactly they would um, be able to come out after that is what I'm trying to get at. I really, I don't know. after another we end up having stuff like this happen because I can say that God has plans for everything because our above the stove microwave that went out on us and then it wasn't like three days later my husband's foreman asked him if he wanted a uh, smaller microwave and my husband's like well my wife might be able to use it and I was like, why did you bring that home? And he's like, well, it was free and it works. And not three days later, that one went out. So I was thankful we had that. And that we have just a little bit of extra money sitting in the bank.
to when this went out. So that's our figures. Like we can either go and buy another refrigerator for a couple thousand dollars. And I told my husband that I don't want to go as big as this one was. I really don't. I, I could go back to just a more compact one because it's just my husband and I mainly living here. So why do we need something that has to hold a amount of food for like six people when we originally had got this, you know, almost five years ago to be able to um, do everything that we were doing. I was like, you know, how did we go about that? Man, there's a lot of blood down in there. It's beautiful out. It's not very warm, but the sun is shining, and that's about all we really need is that beautiful sun to be shining. We're drying up. We don't have a whole lot of water sitting around now, but the snow's pretty much almost gone. And then for at least five to six days, it's sunshine. And then the high 40s, but we're freezing temperatures at night, which isn't a big deal. I mean, we can still deal with that. I like these little Lysol disinfecting wipes to, like, clean out, you know, just to kind of spot clean. They work really well for that. This drawer wasn't really that bad. Just had some onion um, shells in it. That's all that was in there. All right, so this one is clean to the best that I can clean it, anyways. And this was supposed to be a crisper bin, but I don't think. It really even really worked like that. Got this goes over there. Oh, I don't know. It would be wise to just take these out and then clean them and set them back in, or what I should be doing. I'm not sure. I told my husband I would get this cleaned out today, and that's what I'm doing. How do you get stuff underneath of that? Hey, I need the light on. Probably because I left it open too long. And this has got a broken, a broken um, piece on it. Right here, this part right there is broken on that. I'm not sure how that happened, but let me let me close this and see if I can't turn this light on again because I can't hardly see in there. Okay, maybe the light will come back on. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> so now I'm gonna grab this one and pull this one out. that garlic would probably be, I think it'll be okay. If not, I can use it for planting garlic anyways. Stay open. I don't have much in here to actually clean. There's a little spot I see right there. I didn't actually look underneath of it, yet, but it's just got a little spot right there. Looks like blood dripping. One little spot right there. We're going to get it cleaned out. Yes, I know. But you're not working anyway, so it don't matter. You stand here all day with this door open, it ain't going to matter. Because you're not working.
don't see anything else. Got a lot of crap down underneath there, but I don't think these pop off very nice. I don't know. Okay, that one's done. I seen where I missed the spot at. Okay, um, let me try to do this up here. Oh, that's just something. These are actually, they look pretty clean. I just got a little spot right there, it looks like. I'm going to try to get off. all finished at the top here anyway. Something right there. Okay. With that being said, I just don't know like what to do about the rest of this because I just have to try to finish cleaning it out I guess right down in here where there's some blood from that liver that I was going to fix myself and then it started bleeding and then we found out that the refrigerator wasn't working properly so I put it back in the freezer because you can't even have anything out now that has to be refrigerated and every other weekend my husband's doing we're doing it's kind of like a date night but we do it here at our house so I picked out our dessert which I got lemon lemon poppy um, Muffins, that's what I ended up getting from Myers. They had some there, so I went ahead and got some. And then we're having, we're going to order pizza from our town that we live in. Mine will be a gluten-free pizza, a buffalo chicken is what it is. And I will add, for me anyways, um, Black olive, tomato, mushroom, and I think I'm going to have pineapple added to it this time too. But my husband, he gets the buffalo chicken, just the regular. He doesn't have anything else added to it. Um, which... You know, it's, it's fine. That's just, he's, he's kind of a plain Jane person. He doesn't like mashed potatoes and gravy. Um, he doesn't care for any of that kind of stuff. So I'm just happy that he chooses to eat pizza when I decide that that should be something we do. So we got our date night tonight at home. Like I say, we do this at home. And then we got to kind of figure out, like, what are we going to do for this? Are we going to spend another $1,000 or so to buy another refrigerator? Something that's not as big, you know, kind of downsize. I thought that, you know, having a French store one with freezer on one side and the refrigerator on the other would be more than perfect for us. This has the freezer on the bottom, and I did not care for that at first, but I learned to uh, deal with it. I learned to really grow on me with this refrigerator. I do like the stainless steel look, but I don't have to have one. I would really just try like to see if it's cheap enough to go ahead and get this one fixed, if we can fix it. And that would be the goal here, is to try to get this fixed. 
That is what the plans are. That's what I would like to do. Um, but we'll see. We could do like a dent and scratch. I would even be okay with that, but at the same time, they're pretty expensive too. Okay, I think I got that clean as it's going to come. I can't tell if that's, if that's supposed to be black right there. Oh, it's blood. Dried up blood in there. At least it smells better in here. I can at least say that much. It does smell better. That's a job in itself. I got those two wiped out and go ahead and do this one real quick. Since these are pretty much man, look at all the fingerprints on the side of this thing. And this bar right here, this bar, it is like super hot to touch. I'm not sure why it's hot. And like my husband said, he's not even sure why it's hot, but it is. It is uh, extremely warm. So we ruined everything that was in the fridge which sucks but I think even my run it and stuff like that to make our soaps or not my soaps my cheeses with when the goats start producing again I'm gonna make homemade cheeses and stuff I think all that's ruined so I'm gonna have to probably order more and that stuff's not cheap for that because it has to be refrigerated prior to, you know while you're using it and whatnot. That's the end of that. And then I still have to, I still have to clean this. But this isn't too bad. I gotta clean this out still too. I think I could do a paper towel, maybe. Just get rid of this scrubby, because I don't really need that. I'll just use a paper towel, because it just needs to be wiped out, not scrubbed out. Oh, there's a bunch of blood. Under this, I'm going to have to pull this out. Look at all that. That's nasty. The things that you find when you haven't cleaned your refrigerator out for a while, I think these refrigerators should be cleaned out probably once a month instead of like every couple of months that I tend to do. Like that's what I can smell right now is blood. No, and I've got this one subscriber too that I'm, I don't even know if he is subscribed or not. But he's always commenting about how I raise my rabbits. I've been raising rabbits for 33 years. Been raising dairy goats for 35. I'll be 43 this year, so I mean, I've, I've got some knowledge when it comes to raising animals. I grew up on a dairy farm. I showed rabbits in 4-H as soon as I was old enough to show. I've done everything the way that I was taught 
And like I tried telling them, you know, there's there's the way you raise your rabbits. Everybody raises their rabbits differently. I only know and say from knowledge that I've actually done. Um, meaning the way that I raise stuff, the way that I do things, it's because of my experience and knowledge of doing it. I'm not going to say anything if it's not true and I don't have experience with it. I've had, I've got tons of experience and he keeps telling me that you're wasting your money. Feeding them hay. They don't need hay. Well, yeah, they do. I've always fed hay and I don't feed as much hay to the ones that want to try to pick through their pellets because I know that they'd rather have hay. So they get less hay to the point of no hay. Like today I didn't give honey any hay today when I fed everybody because she's being very picky and I can't have that. That's another thing I need to do too. I need to clean out pans. I need to get all that done. I've got two rabbit cages here to make. We're going to be busy making two feed out hutches for our uh, 10, 10 kits per hutch. So they're going to be 7 foot by 30 inches. We have a cr crud ton of um, dishes to do too. but I also need paper towels. Take it. And like, when it comes to our channel here, I sh I'm pretty honest and show you guys everything that goes on here on the farm, whether it's good or bad. I, I, I'm very coherent and want you guys to know the good and bad when it comes to, you know, just everyday life and farming and having stuff like this. I mean, you have animals that die, you have appliances that break down, you know, and some channels don't show that. But I'm one who's willing to show the ups and downs of everyday life. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Well, I don't know when this video will actually be out. <laughs> I'm a couple videos ahead. And I'm not too far ahead. I'm usually a couple weeks ahead when it comes to videoing, but I've slacked off on videoing. I can say that much. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to end this video here. I just got to finish cleaning this out get it finished cleaned and then um, try to do the rest of what I need to get done today. And I gotta call and order our pizza. I have no idea when my husband is actually gonna be home so I just have to watch make sure that I have it at about the right time. But then I got a call before 6 to make sure I can get the pizza too. Okay. Got this one. This 
has a little bit that needs to be cleaned out. It's not much. And then we will see everybody next time. Please subscribe if you're new. Thank you to all our new subscribers, and we'll see everybody tomorrow. Till next time, God bless everybody.